our software, as I mentioned, provides a real-time image ahead of the vessel, and that's our primary value. However, we also build a map of everywhere we've been. We call that our local history map. In these two examples, it's clear where this information has value. When you're going into a shallow harbor, making your way through a coral reef, you now have the map of where you've been when you're returning out of that area. Or, for example, if you're performing a small anchor survey before dropping the hook, you can see where the stern of the vessel lies as it sways with the tides and the currents relative to any shallow waters. Our latest innovation allows our users to opt in to anonymously share this data across the Far Sounder fleet and contribute to Seabed 2030 via the IHO's crowdsource bathymetry database. So why is this information valuable to be crowdsourced? Well, Northwest Passage is one example of an area where many of our customers are going. And it's an area with very poor chart coverage. And it's an area where the environment changes with the ice from season to season. One of our cruise ship customers passed through the Northwest Passage and recorded depth measurements which were provided to the IHO's database. And those were used by the Canadian Hydrographic Service to develop a new chart using data points from trusted sources, even when they were not official surveys. Our customer passed through this area of interest for the Canadian Hydrographic Service, and they were able to use the measurements because of the high quality of Far Sounder Sonar's data and integrate it into an official chart produced by the Canadian Hydrographic Service. But it's not just Canadian waters that suffer from poor hydrographic survey coverage. It's all around the world, including in the US, in, uh, off the coast of Alaska. These purple and pink lines represent all of the modern surveys in Alaskan waters. You can see that it is nearly empty. Our customers, of course, go from the high north down to the far south, everywhere in between. In one example, uh, down in Antarctica, we've had multiple cruise ship customers collecting depth measurements over multiple seasons. And this information is of huge value to various scientific endeavors. For those of you that are interested in seeing where our customers have provided data to the IHO, we've launched recently our new crowdsource bathymetry data viewer, which allows anybody to log in from the web and see these anonymous contributions not just the Far Sounders customers, but every vessel that's contributed to the IHO's crowdsourced database.